the largest cruise ship in the world, with almost a small city's worth of people on board, set off on its seven-day inaugural journey from Port Miami. Today marked the beginning of the seven-day Caribbean island hopping journey aboard Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, which will end with a return to Miami. The $2 billion vessel has 20 decks, 2350 crew members, 2805 staterooms, and space for 7,600 passengers. It spans approximately 1,200 feet from bow to stern. In addition, the ship features seven swimming pools, including a 40,000 gallon lake, 40 dining and drinking establishments, a 16 piece orchestra, and 50 performers and comedians. Eco friendly liquefied natural gas powers the vessel. The icon is 24% more efficient. Than what the International Maritime Organization requires in terms of carbon emissions, according to Royal Caribbean, according to Reuters. Every kilowatt utilized on the Icon of the Seas, according to Royal Caribbean, is scrutinized for energy efficiencies and emission reductions. Environmentalists, however, think there is a significant risk of methane emissions from the ship, even though the fuel is said to be superior to conventional marine gasoline. The International Council of Clean Transportation claims that methane slip or the methane emissions from ships running on LNG is a factor in climate change. Methane slips happen when low pressure, dual fuel engines, like those on board the Icon, tend to release methane into the environment as they burn. It's a move in the wrong direction, said Brian Kummer, director of the ICCD's marine program. Our estimate is that the life cycle greenhouse gas emissions from utilizing LNG as a marine fuel are more than 120% higher than those from using marine gas oil. According to 2024 research financed by the ICCD, the average methane slip of cruise ship engines is predicted to be 6.4%, which is greater than the IMO's assumption of 3.5%. The NASA Global Climate Change webpage states that methane is a potent greenhouse gas and that it contributes to climate change second only to carbon dioxide. Human activity is thought to be responsible for 60% of the methane emissions that occur today. However, the owners don't appear to care about these issues because the icon is scheduled to sail Caribbean cruises from Miami all year long, stopping at award winning private island Perfect Day at Coco Cay, in the Bahamas, and other idyllic destinations. On Tuesday, World Cup winner Lionel Messi and his inter-Miami colleagues, formally christened the ship. As the star of the show, Messi started the custom of breaking a champagne bottle against the ship's bow, which is meant to bring luck to both the ship and its occupants, by placing a soccer ball atop a stand. Later on, the 36-year-old Argentinian described as a privilege. Messi added in Spanish, it's a great honor for me, and I know what it means for the city of Miami and the entire world. He thus christened this vessel icon of the seas. May God grant you and everyone sailing with her many blessings. The president and CEO of Royal Caribbean International, Michael Bailey, continued, saying, we built the biggest, baddest ship on the planet. A new class of ship is always exciting but the excitement is doubled when it appears to be exactly right.